Hey everyone, Burton's back, and um, I think we've made a decision. Um, we're gonna go for Hawkland. Um, so let's do this straight away. Um, we are going to go for the area closest to the river, which is Corva, which is this area here. Let's just make sure. Yeah, and it actually freezes up to do a few more things. It kind of makes sense, so we'll we'll do that. And we'll do Imperial Conquest. We are not going to do Holy War. And let's see what it is we're actually going to be up against. I don't think it'll be too much, but we'll see. We'll raise the Graps men first. We've got 2,000 of them. Anyone else nearby? Another 200 or so. Let's see what we've got. Oh, they've got 3,000 men straight away. So what I'll do is, let's just call up our personal troops at the moment. And uh, we'll get you guys all the way over here. So they're going to stand on their side of the river, which is good for us. Gives us plenty of time to go ahead and get all of our reinforcements there. Uh, yes, that's right, you march out of the way, get down to t -shirt. Oh, they've run straight into... Uh, Someone else, that's fine. 4,000, 5,000 of them now. Considering they're so small, they have actually got a good amount of people. Now, where's this Abyssal Terror when I need it? That's what I want. Not to worry. We're still going to have more than enough men to be able to take them. Uh, this ruler has been Secret Service, Duke of Schwarzlands. Where are you? Bloody hell. Well, it's over the other side of the mountain, so I don't care at the moment, but this is happening more and more often now. The winds of chaos must be very strong indeed. Ah. Don't you know it. Every time we try and take somewhere, there's always a bloody revolt. Well, put it this way. I'm glad that we've still got all these people. So, everyone. To call off, please. We've got enough to take this, we'll make sure we put it down as quick as we can. They're actually on the move. Um, so maybe not everyone to Kalov, we'll get everyone to Carlsbrook instead. <clears throat> We're probably going to get caught with these guys, but my focus is on this one. Oh, nice, they've actually crossed the river, we'll take that. Okay, so Mark, once again, keeps wanting to lead. And we're not going to have that. We're going to have Mark more, my, my, new, my new friend. He's not French yet, but we'll see what we can do in regards to that. So here we go. Where have these guys gone? Oh, they've actually buggered off all the way over there. And the battle rages. We've got more than double their man. We're not going to be casting any spells. The Graf is in the center. We're on his flanks. Mark more is there. And there we go, a very quick victory for ourselves. Let's cross on the river after them, and we'll just take care of them that way. And the remnants of their forces, actually, we just lost a few thousands needlessly there. So they've got 700 or so, so let's split. We'll make sure that uh, we are not going to be attacked. Let's just double check. I don't see anything here. Fog of War can hide people. You know how easy it is to be snuck up upon here. <coughs> Alright, now he's in favour of us. Are you still going to be it? He's still going to be in it. Um, it's 85%. It's not the end of the world. But we'll carry on working on this as best we can. We could always put our person on to... Um, to discourage people from joining factions, but to be honest, I'm, I'm not too bothered about that at the moment. I'm want, I want them actually having a look at technology. We need to be improving things a little bit. Shipbuilding, what's the next one? No, nothing. We're fine. We've got another inheritance. Not too bad. We still have too many people of... Um, oh, brilliant. Yeah, we still have too many people of the wrong uh, religion. And that's just causing some upheaval. Um, in fact, let's just send you guys in as well, just in case. I don't think we'll need them, but you never know. 
No, we're fine. We've got over a thousand uh, difference on there. That's okay. Dangerous factions is now popping up. Something is going to happen. Um, so what I'm going to do is, where is the faction base? It was, oh, it's over in the Graflands. I'm actually going to send a 2000 to go and sit on Graphland itself. <coughs> there we go, we're at 100% with that now. Excellent. Give ourselves another prisoner, but we're not doing anything with the prisoners at the moment. Everyone to Graphland, please. 71%. He's actually left it now. Brilliant. So, who is next? Let's work on the Countess. Well, the Countess is here. We will go ahead and improve relations with the Countess. As a little thank you, shall we send him a gift? 75 goals? No. I don't think so. So actually, we don't need to send these armies over there. I think we're okay for now. So let's just disband these two. Oh, and you've done it again, Burton. But you've noticed the important thing is you're noticing. Holy Orders, are they... Oh yes, Holy Orders are over here. That's fine. <clears throat> so, um, ideally we could have actually done two wars at once. Our truces are expiring. Now that'll probably be with these guys up here. But we're going to be taking this land. I'm thinking Ostlands are probably too... Oh no, revolting. Say no. Also, I might be a little bit too powerful. I would like to get some of this land back and have everything our side of the river. Who they actually... Oh my god, they've got lots of allies. Counts, Dukes... Ah, they've got the Graph of Avalanche. That would cause an issue. Oh! Have a look, he's just give us a warning yet again. Not to worry. Instituted minimal city tax is alright, so he is uh, doing okay in his new land. Victory, we're at 92%. This one is actually going to take it for us. There we go, that's 100. We're all off of the piece. Ha ha! Now that looks good. We've taken our first piece of land over the river. We've fulfilled our ambition to win a war. I think our next ambition is going to be constantly to win a war. Because that's going to give us 25 prestige every time. And we can just keep on building prestige. In fact, why are we even coming back this way? Um... Let's go ahead, expand, expand, and 153, I'm actually going to leave you guys there. Is that a new Chadwick? You're 19 years old. What happened to old Chadwick? No, he's still ill ruler. Am I going mad? I thought Chadwick was old. Hang on, something's happened here. You in? Oh, maybe I was thinking about someone else. Right, so we've taken that piece of land. I'm intrigued about Ostland. But not intrigued enough to go ahead and start a war over in Griffinwald. We'll see. Oh, these are independents now. Uh, of vassalization, you say no. Truce breaker, yeah, that's understandable. Um, do we really want to do holy wars? I'm going to say no for the time being. I think Sterling's going to be our next target. Uh, let's just check who they're allied with. Arch Lecter, Count Counts, we should be good to go with that. Okay, so once again, let's just do our own forces and we'll see indeed what it is we are up against. So let's get everyone round to this side. 5,000, nice. Um, immediately I think we're going to call up reinforcements. We'll get another 1,000 from you guys. And who have we got nearby? 197, not really my style. Yeah, that'll do. So Sterling itself isn't uh, isn't too bad. Oh, they're actually moving to attack as it looks like. They'll be there on the 6th. We'll be out on... Yeah, we'll be fine on that one. It's these guys behind that'll actually get caught up. So uh, let us put you this way. And we'll put you guys... 
If I run away, run away, you'll be there on the 21st. You'll be out there on the 18th, that's fine. Well, at least we're distracting them. <clears throat> like we say, it's going to give us more than enough time to get together the people that we need to be getting together. So they've actually called up quite a surprising amount of people. Now, probably because... Oh, he's at it again. Against one of the countesses. Where are you? Oh, he's making his way. He's making his way. Look at this. She's not going to be able to survive. Yeah, she's knackered. How is he able to do it all the way over there? Has he just gone ahead and got himself a claim? There's the Chaos Dwarfs there as well. Right, so we've got 8,000, so let's move on in. For once, Mark has decided he's not going to go ahead and try anything. So we will have, um, we'll have more, more and let's try Siegfried this time. So we'll engage the army first. They've got about 6,000 men. That's improved your opinion. That's not too bad. You'll still be in the faction, but uh, things are getting slightly better. We still haven't had any news about the uh, the spying going on. Uh, now we are suffering river crossing penalty, but we have run into Count Herent. Yeah, I'll engage him. We'll we'll give him a fight. Focus on the fence as we always do. He's actually given us uh, a bit of a battle. We'll try it again. There we go. Now there is a mod out which allows you to track of the people that you've slain in personal combat. If we had it for Vlad, I believe this game would run so slow because we have killed endless people. Oh, I actually didn't notice, we actually overhead the men's size. We need to do something about that. But of course we are, because we've just taken two more territories. We'll hold it for now. There we go, we've beaten them. So let's go ahead and continue. We'll finish off their troops and we'll Head back down and uh, support our friends down here. We've only got 1400, so their defences can't be too impressive. Dangerous Factions is appearing again. I don't know why, it's not really improved. If anything, the situation is somewhat worse. We'll make sure we don't have these guys roaming in our territory. The Important Decisions is available. Well, where is my dragon? That's what I want. It probably takes... Um, a certain amount of time um, but you know what I'm fine because all we're doing right now is we're clearing up these little nations that are still within our land good job oh no oh well so 6,800 man we could still handle that if only our spy thing was working because uh, we're having nothing else pop up Right, so we siege down, or we're about to siege down, our first piece of land. Uh, what we will do, we'll do our usual, we'll split, even though I don't like splitting troops, but let's get this over as quickly as we can, otherwise we'll be here all day waiting for things. Now they do have another 600 or so troops there, so what I am going to do is just call up the Graf's troops just to take care of them. <clears throat> and yeah, he probably won't like us for calling up his troops, but you know what? I rule in Sylvania, so he's going to have to... Oh, Mark, what are you doing? Mark, Mark, Mark. Ah, how is he even a commander? I don't recall making Mark a commander, ever. Um, I'm resigning him as a commander. Yes. He needs a commander now. <laughs> You're four. Isabella, how is Isabella a commander? Isabella, resign. My words. You really wonder. Hannah. Hannah with a stutter. Go on then, Hannah. We'll give you command of the troops. Oh, they've managed to run away from her. Avaland looks like it's on the march. They are actually fighting a peasant revolt, it looks like. You probably would be a better marshal, but I don't want to annoy the graph anymore so I am going to give Arnulf a chance. We need to be careful with Arnulf, we've actually made him a little bit too powerful. There we go, we've won that so we'll disband your forces now. Oh 
Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm back to front here. No, no, I'm thinking right. Yeah, he is, he is quite powerful. Uh, we could do with him actually liking us a little bit more. He sees us as a rival. Too many duchies held isn't going to be helping. After we've finished sorting out these uh, independence people, I think we might very well head on over and try and uh, persuade him to like us a little bit more. I mean, we could always do the simple premise of actually giving him uh, some money, um, but I think it would be fairly expensive. Yeah, 241 gold. Uh, no, that's not going to happen. <gasps> yes! After months of hard work, the monster is finally ready. The shrieking abomination craves for blood of my enemies, and it's ready to fly wherever I wish. Good. So we've gained the Abyssal Terror Mount. Where is it? Here it is. The most warlike vampires ride to battle on the backs of monstrous, winged, dread-inspired mounts. Some are creatures of chaos from the mountains, the resurrected hybrids of rapturous beasts. Others are nightmarish creations of dark magic, bound with shadows and given bodies of writhing blood and flayed skin. So monthly prestige, plus one. Personal combat, plus three. Movement speed, 10%, that's quite good. Uh, morale damage, morale defense. Okay, that's okay. That's not actually that overpowered. So I was thinking that was going to be very similar to the dragons in Game of Thrones, but it is not. That's actually, yeah, that's actually manageable. Wow, well, I'm glad we've gone ahead and defeated that. Um, ideally, I would actually like to get rid of one of these. Maybe the lesser amulet of protection. Uh, no, nah, we'll keep all of it for now. I want to be creating some things. We need to, uh, if only that cast iron ring would have shown up. We'll have a, a quick search for it again, just in case. I think it's destroyed long ago. We'll search all. Uh, we'll put ring, because if you put cast iron ring, nothing will pop up, I don't think. Let's have a look. So you put cast iron ring and we get Renard. And we get me. So why is Renard's coming up though? Why does it say ring? I'll tell you if Renard's got it. Oh, what do we think? Renard's, Renard's, Renard's. <sighs> no. Um, I've no idea why Renard's popping up with this till I get married. Could it be after all this, Renard has the ring? No, surely not, surely not. That'd be madness. <clears throat> if he does have it, I've no idea how we would get it back, imprison him, would it then pop up? Because it was always shown in this particular section, but it's not shown in his. Ah, we have people attacking us. Uh, we should actually be able to deal with that, so I'm actually not going to send anyone to support them. There we go, we've managed to turn that around quite easily. Run away! Ah, she is actually better, she wants to marry a ruler. Should we marry to... Sigmasund? She says yes. Uh, Sigmasund... Yeah, Sepulchre. Not really a ruler, but yeah, we'll, we'll give that to you. Um, I'm going to have to rule here and piss you off slightly, Hannah. Apologies for that. I don't think we're in a situation right now where we can afford... There you go, Hannah. That should be you happy. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Well, let's carry on as we mean to go on. Who's going to be our next target? Well, we need to make sure that we can do something in here. So what can we get? Maximum 500 or so. 530. Who should we give this land to? Bergendorf. It's not a great fort or anything. And Ketzin. I think we'll probably give that away shortly. Let's just win this wall first and we'll give it away with some of this land also. 
War is already at 100%, I know that, but I, I like being able to actually take down the majority of their territories first. We'll teach them a lesson. There we go. You should be on side now. Are you still in the faction? She's barely in the faction now. Barely. Uh, we'll see. So we've won that battle, 100%. Um, I think we'll go ahead and just call it now. Or shall we? No, let's not. Let's not. Let's just finish it off properly. I don't want another situation. Yep. Oh, God. I think Balan is the only person who's warring as much as us. Oh, God. 12,000. Wow. Okay. Well, we can't afford not to be prepared for this, so we'll disband you guys. We'll have everyone else. We'll get you all joining up here, shall we? We'll have you head over here, maybe? That's a lot of people. No, it's revolting. We're not going to bother with that. Okay, that's where we're going to leave off this episode. We're pretty much at the end of this war. And now we've got a very large peasant revolt going on. Is it a peasant revolt? A liberation revolt happening. So I'm pretty sure we'll survive that. But that's going to cost us a little bit. I was ready to go to war somewhere else. But now we have to once again battle our internal strife. Thanks for sticking with the series as usual guys. And don't forget to raise those thumbs. Cheers. Thank you.